Hey up! Now then, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave K. I hope you're all well, wherever you are in this world. It's a little bit colder here today. I've got my rab fleecy on, keep me nice and warm. And it's also getting uh, darker on a night and it gets dark on a morning, less daylight during the day, which leads me nicely on to this particular video. Now, when I were a kid, I had a little bit of an obsession with the uh, torches. I don't know about you, but I did. A bit weird, really. But there you go. Um, I don't know why, but I loved torches. But the thing is, what's changed most about torches is the technology and how different they are now to what they were when I were a kid. When I were a kid, you used to go and buy a torch. You put two, a couple of batteries in it. You switched it on and it came on. You pressed a button and it went off again and that were it. And I had a bit of a collection, but there you go. Anyway, that aside. So this video is about, and, I, and I'm going to struggle to pronounce this, but I'm going to say, how do you pronounce it, Ryan? Gasserion. Okay. I don't know whether you'd actually say it like that. I'm not sure, but it's Gasserion. Okay. Now we did a, a little video not too long ago uh, about a rear light. This one is about a front light, the headlight. In particular, this one here. Now this is the Caserion 1200 Kiwi light. Now it's quite advanced and it does a lot. and It's got a lot of function. So we're gonna go through this today. Hopefully I'll explain how it works, what are the benefits of it, but also there's a little twist to this particular light. An unusual one. It's a feature that's not common in lights. So this is the Gasserion 1200 Kiwi. Let's crack on. Firstly, I'd like to thank the lovely people at Gasserion for sending this for us uh, to review today. So let's see what's in the box. So we'll open it up here and we'll just slide the, the unit out. Okay, we've got the light here. So there's quite a bit of weight to it. It feels nice and sturdy in your hand. Uh, it's uh, well made. It's quite solid, nice, uh, nice looking light. Uh, and it's got two fastenings. Uh, there's one on the bottom and then that is mirrored on the top as well. So you can actually put it on top of your bar, but you can also put it underneath your bar as well. So this little cap here just comes out and you just change the bottom. You, ch you move the bottom one and actually fasten it to the top. The button to turn it off and on is on the top. It's 1200 lumens at its max and it has five modes. So it has a brilliant feature that not many lights do. It has a maximum beam. So it's like a cut off beam and the beams on the top and it's designed when it's on your bike and you're on full, uh, full beam or maximum power, there's like a cutoff line for the beam so it doesn't dazzle uh, the people in front of you on coming. So you double press the button to turn it on. I won't point it in the camera, but you can see it's quite a bright light. Put it on the, on the wall. We're obviously in mid daylight here and we've got fluorescence in the shop. So you can see this is 1200 lumens. It's on its maximum setting and you press it again and it goes on to flash. Press it again and it goes on to steady. You can actually see that there. Press it again, flash again, and it goes back on to bright. There's five modes there. The other great thing about this light, it's Bluetooth, okay? So you can actually get a little remote and put it on the end of your bar so you don't need to faff about with a button when you want to turn it off and on or when you, whether you want to change the modes. You do that through the remote on the right hand side of your bar, that's optional. So let's see what it comes with. Okay. So we've got the, uh, the handlebar mount there. Uh, this adjusts to any size handlebar so you can put it wherever you want on your bar. Uh, and you can have it on top if you want like that, or you can have it underneath like that. And uh, as I said before, 
this particular clip comes off so you can actually have it underneath but the right way around if that makes sense or you can have it on top of your bar like that and you just clip it in there and slide it in so one thing that I have noticed about this particular bracket is this little spring-loaded clip on the end here now you don't actually see that on many types of brackets normally they're just like a little plastic clip that's bent down and they do lose the kind of grip if you like after a while but this is nice and sturdy and the light actually goes on really nice and easily you can feel the click when it goes onto your brackets really really well made nice and sturdy now that light's not going anywhere on your on your handlebar you're not that's not going to fall off now we've got a little USB-C to USB-C charging plug there got a, a little screwdriver to take the uh, the cap off so you can actually swap it round so you can mount it on the top or you can mount it on the bottom so the quick feature rundown then again of this light you can actually use it as a normal torch if you wanted to you could actually take this bracket off and put a little bit of a blanking plug there that they've sent uh, so you can actually use it as a torch instead of a bike light the other benefits there it's actually bluetooth okay so you can use a remote on your bar you don't need to constantly mess about with this button you can actually use you can use a remote um, and the maximum runtime on 1200 lumens is round about one and a half hours. Uh, it's 24 hours on the lowest setting, I believe. So, <clears throat> and it's lovely and weighty. It's, it's got a nice weight to it. Well made, and it's got the cut-off beam on the top as well, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't dazzle your oncoming drivers or cyclists. Now you can actually get. Um, another accessory for this particular light now this is the uh, the mount that also you can put your Garmin on top as well or other accessories that use the same kind of fixing so let's take a look at this so you can see here if you want to put your Garmin on top that's obviously going on your bar if you want to put your Garmin on top you can actually use that particular accessory there to go underneath and you can mount your light underneath okay you can also put your Garmin on top so that's a clever little thing you can have your Garmin and your light on the same bracket so that's an additional accessory that you can get now if you want to know the price this retails around about 50 to 60 dollars um, it's not going to take long to come through the post so if you remember at the beginning of the video i said there was a little bit of a twist to this light well this particular light believe it or not doubles up as a power bank so you can charge accessories from this little light you can charge your phone or any kind of accessory that uses like a, a usb fitting now i don't know of any light that does this so let's give it a go now i run an iphone so you might need a differently depending on which phone that you actually use. So we plug it in the back. There's a little USB-C part of the back. So we'll plug one end in there and see if we can get a charge. There we go. Plug it in the bottom. And we get a charge. Amazing. What a brilliant little thing to put on a light. Uh, a, a way you can actually charge your phone up as well as a light on your bike what a good do so when you're charging your phone up or you're charging an accessory with this particular light on top of the light you will see a flashing you might not be able to see it you can see it there you can see the little light the button is flashing red now what that's telling you basically is how much charge is left in the light to charge your accessory so it changes it changes from amber to green depending on how much life you've got left in the phone to charge your accessory up so you can keep an eye on it to make sure that you're not actually draining your light too much but you're charging your stuff as well so that's a good little thing so if you want to grab a closer look at this great little light 
then jump online and just Google Cassirian, or if you want to Google Kiwi 1200, uh, I'm sure you'll find it online. I'll put a link in the description as well, so you can take a look that way. On the whole, a great little light, good value for money, 1200 lumens. So if you've not subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, press the bell as well, thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Toodle pip.